let me ask on stage, we go to the next lightning talk, and this is going to be about Nextcloud Pi, a project. We're going to get an update from James about this project. James, can I call you to, to the stage? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I've been dreaming of this moment for years. All right, <laughs> it's true. So... <laughs> So I'm James, and this over here, step out. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm to Tobias, Tobias. Yeah, and Tobias is the lead developer now of Nextcloud Pi, and I guess I'm sort of the spokesperson and documentation writer, community manager. And we are a faceless group of volunteers that's been going since the beginning of Nextcloud. And, um, I don't think anyone knows what we look like. <laughs> and it's just all contributions from the community um, towards this crazy thing called Nextcloud Pi. And we are an official project of Nextcloud, actually, since 2017, 2018. This is Ignacio Nacho. He gave a talk here in 2017 on Nextcloud Pi. That was the last talk. Has anyone ever heard of us, Nextcloud Pi? Yay, nay, yay, okay. So this is Nacho, and we want to say thank you, Nacho. If you're watching this video, thank you, thank you. We love you. We love you and your family. Thank you for creating this project. It's amazing. Got to say that. OK. Yeah. <laughs> so we have uh, six years of updates for you. And uh, first, we want to welcome Tobias as a leader. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. OK. All right. So. Nextcloud Pi, it's more than just devices, but it started with devices. So we tried to change the name. We tried to change the name back in 2017, I think, to Nextcloud Plus, and that didn't go very well. Um, <laughs> it turned out we were lucky to be able to use the name Nextcloud Pi to begin with. But there is a reason we wanted to change the name, and that is because we actually support all architectures, all devices, we support it all, and what we really are is we're the community equivalent of a one-click deployment for self-hosters, for home enthusiasts, for general users of Nextcloud who are not companies, they're just people who want to get started as easily as possible. And that's been our goal, to provide not only software, but also documentation and community. So we provide virtual machines, Docker, Podman, Docker Compose. We're built into the ARMB and Package Manager. We're curl script. We support 32-bit, 64-bit architecture, ARM architecture, x86. Everything can run on our system. We've been around forever. We also have pre-built images for many kinds of devices. So Nextcloud Pi means you never have to use OCC. Every single command that you could use has been scripted. And you can use it from the terminal or a web interface to set up your next cloud. It makes it very, very easy to maintain. And it keeps your system running whenever possible. <laughs> so it's not perfect, but we try. And it means that you have these helper scripts and ways to manage your system. So let's see. This means we offer auto updates. We offer auto updates of Nextcloud apps, of Nextcloud, of Debian, of PHP, Mariah Database, Apache. We keep the system maintained and up to date. This also means that we offer a suggestion of when the user should update their system. So when Nextcloud rolls out 25, we will test it, and when we feel comfortable, we'll then release that point release out to our user base, and they can auto-update to it. So they don't actually have to do anything. It's basically um, hands-free. It's not perfect, but we do our best. And that means it's battle-tested because we don't upgrade until we're ready, and it doesn't mean it's perfect, but we do the best we can. And so we have quite a lot of features these days. We have DNS support for every DNS service imaginable. Uh, if you have free DNS services or domains, you can use them all through the interface. You can set it up. We have automatic Let's Encrypt. Every aspect of setting up your next cloud can be done directly from the interface. We have ButterFS support in our pre-built images, which means you have automated snapshots of your system for all recovery. We have rsync. We've had it for years. You can do all your backups locally or remotely directly on the system. It's all automated. And we have our community to help out. 
quick note. Uh, I think DNS is missing a D uh, there. We mean uh, dynamic DNS support. So you can um, register your cloud if you're hosting at home and don't have a stable IP address with all sorts of um, dun DNS services. So we've had all kinds of fun things happen. We have um, this beautiful thing called NCP report, which I just realized, I think that didn't exist before. And when someone has a problem, they can run NCP report and it'll automatically generate a report, takes away your sensitive data, and it gives us all the logs and information needed to fix your system. And we've kind of upstreamed this to the help forum by creating a basic simplified support template people can use when they have issues and they need support so they can be helped as quickly as possible. And I think that's really cool. We also have uh, data encryption, full disk encryption. If your disk is encrypted, you can decrypt it from either the terminal or from the web UI to then move it into a new system. So that's for physical security. Um, that was a huge amount of work and it's super cool. So we do have full disk encryption support built in. Um, we have metrics. Tobias added Prometheus support. You wanna talk about that? Um, well, maybe I go over it quick because I think we don't have that much yeah, time. Yeah, we left. might not. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, um, in my mind, NCP strives to be this uh, managed hosting solution in a, as self-hosting. So, uh, like everything works, you have a web UI to manage everything, and don't need to get in the nitty-gritty stuff. And that's why we have um, encryption just with a one-click enablement. We have monitoring endpoints for Prometheus and can monitor everything from the Nextcloud provided metrics uh, up to um, the freshness of your backups. So you are sure they are there when you need them. And you have automatic um, creation of back backups and uh, restoration backups right from the web interface, including database and files. So um, our focus right now is on improving our release and testing process to make Nextcloud and Nextcloud Pi basically easier to use and less risky. So right now we've been putting a lot of effort into automating virtual machine, Docker, and image tests, as well as our installation scripts, images, and updater process. And the one other thing we've changed in this time, and I want to tell you because it's awesome, is documentation. So our documentation process before was basically a website. It was a WordPress site that you'd have to find a way to join the WordPress site and maybe you join it or not. And instead now we use the forum. We actually use the help forum of Nextcloud itself. And the way that we did it was we created a group and anyone can request to join the group and add documentation. And when you join, then you can see all of our unpublished articles, which are just posts on the forum. And then once those posts are ready, some of our volunteers who we've given group mod access can then move them to a public category and they become available on our actual website, docs.nextcloudpi.com. And it's all static and it happens instantaneously. So as soon as something's published, it's available for everyone to read and it makes it possible for everyone on the forum to contribute to our documentation and keep it updated. It's really cool. None of the administrators on the forum have to help us with any of this. We do it all ourselves. And also every post from the forum is relayed to our chat rooms in Matrix and Telegram automatically over RSS. So it allows us to be automatically notified of all support requests so we can fix them based on the tag NCP. And this means that you can join our matrix and telegram rooms and you can get asked questions there or you can use the forum and we'll still see your questions. And if anyone's interested, you're welcome to join us online. So at nextcloudpi.com or you can join us in matrix or telegram or the help forum. And this is the case that I designed back in 2018. <laughs> No, it's freely available online. You can build it yourself. It's on GitHub. All right, thanks so much. And thanks to the NextCloud by community and NextCloud. Thank you. Thank you.